and welcome back to Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Last time we did it the month of January and it was honestly kind of uneventful because nothing really happened. <laughs> and not many holidays actually compared to December. But this time we're going to February and it looks like there's a little more stuff we can do in this month. Um, I actually came to a bit of a decision to simplify the game to only have one AI, just to speed things up a bit. Because an hour and 15 minutes is a little bit long, so we just got one character. And I also unlocked another costume off screen and another emote, I'll show that off. Let's go Classic Nook, just for fun. And I guess we'll just pick this kid. I haven't actually renamed them. <laughs> um, yeah, this will speed up the game quite a bit. I feel it cuts it down by like a good half hour. Um, so yeah, just for the sake of time, it just, I don't know, showing all four characters, I don't know if that's really necessary. Might as well just show one, it saves a lot of time. So, uh, I actually made a couple discoveries, actually, um, about the game and the map. Apparently as you unlock more uh, public works projects and sort of renovate the town, you actually expand your passages. That the you expand the amount of passages you can travel. I'll try to demonstrate here. Now you can make it here today. I'm gonna be your host for this game. My name's Stitches. It's nice to meet you, Stefan. Uh, do you guys know how to play? Yeah, I think I know how to play by now. Um. Oh, but there's one thing I should probably go over. For two people, a full game takes about 45 minutes. See, that's so much nicer. Uh, fewer wasted turns. And I could probably focus more, and I could get more videos done. So it's just overall more convenient for me. And this is a short month. They're only f four weeks, exactly, instead of, you know, like four and a half. For reasons that should be obvious. Um, so, okay, I'm trying to find it. Wait, where did it go? Oh, yeah, I built this little dining area right here, and it opened up a path like that. Um... All these green things are public works project spots, and yeah, they do unlock paths as you put new public works projects in position. And I made one more too, but I'm having a hard time finding it. Oh, there we go, the pool. Um, yeah, so do uh, you want to renovate the town? Because that spruces up the game board quite a bit. Um, I'm sure not all of them are op going to open up passageways, just because, frankly, this is kind of a small board. Like, how many more passageways can you squeeze out of this little board? Um, so, um, yeah, I still haven't renamed the characters. I might leave it up to, like, a fan vote. That could be a thing that I do later on. Uh, yeah, it's still an unclear advantage. I'm... Not in a position where I want to be scanning in like multiple amiibo because <laughs> that's going to take forever and I'm not looking forward to that. Traveling together is great. Helping the enemy though is not so great. For Seti, um, uh, for those who don't know, in the US, if you're watching this video outside the US, I should point this out, uh, today, or actually this day, 2 2 is Groundhog Day. It's so cold outside, but knowing that, that spring around is. Right, just around the corner makes me excited. And because there are actually no groundhogs in the series, Rossetti basically fills the role because he is a ground dwelling animal. And this is the new motion unlocked. <laughs> just want to show that off. Now let's get rolling. Am I literally just following the same exact path every time? No! <laughs> Some of the load times for events are a little long. Went to the DIY store with a bunch of friends. Seeing everyone get the special items they're looking for makes me happy. It's actually funny that while everyone else is celebrating Groundhog Day, Nook is just running a store. Kind of sad. Uh, and all the cases we add in are all in the background now, so that spruces things up a bit. I'm sure the snowmen will get events too. I just do some friends my real estate guy. The two of them just got just finished up a land deal, and I got a little bonus for my part. Oh, because I'm Nook, I got a, a bonus for that. <laughs> That's weird, actually. So basically, playing the special characters does give you an edge. Kind of cheap, actually. Um, sad or happy? Let's be happy. Um, when working up hard to save up bells, I, 
and I earned even more bells from the interest. Problem is, I had to take kind of a meandering route to get over there. That's a little bit worrisome. Um, on another note, the first part of the series just went up today, about when I'm recording this, about four hours ago. It's actually doing really well, so that makes me happy. I don't think parts two onwards are going to be that successful, just because, you know, people will see the first video and be like, oh, hey, that looks fun. But uh, we'll probably just bail, and the problem if you can't get a job with later videos, I'm assuming. That's usually how this stuff goes. Um, but yeah, I'm happy that the videos, the first video at least is going pretty well. I haven't gotten a lot of you know, comments yet, but hey. That's the old thing to say as goes, beggars can't be choosers. What else? Um, yeah, it's funny because like Luigi's Mansion and Zelda are actually getting a lot worse view counts. <laughs> it's just like, why? There's Zelda and Luigi's Mansion. But I think it's because everyone let's play those two games. I mean, people are less playing Amiibo Festival, let's just put it that way. So yeah, it's novel to people seeing someone less playing this game, even if it's not really that great of a game. The market is there, and there's not many people fulfilling it, so that's the way I see it, at least. Um, let's see... More event spaces? Um... Two. Wow, lucky him. Hi, my name is Katie. Don't worry, I'm not lost, I'm just traveling solo. Seems like if you have an amiibo, Katie will actually remember if you've met her or not, but not for the guest characters because they're guest characters. I did actually have a, one case where the card wasn't just in this pattern, and here's another one actually, because normally we get a four card when we get two, or three card. But I guess it can just be any card, just we were getting weird luck the first two times. Back to Nook. Yeah, see how much faster this goes with only two people? I might try it with three people, like three characters as well at some point. Let's see. I'm Tom Nook. You're enjoying the board game again, I see. Um, yeah, see, she remembers that we've encountered her as Tom Nook, but now it's the guest character. Let's get started. I have some cards, I show dice, blah blah blah. Five. I once had a really obnoxious thing happen where she pulled a 6 out. <laughs> eh, 1. Actually, a 1 dice is actually really good when you're trying to get uh, stock prices. Because if you sometimes it's really hard to land on an exact space. And if you sell stocks for like 30,000 bells, it's totally worth it. Uh, off screen, I also tried the Desert Island mode, which. Uh, okay, but this will be our fourth board, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take a little bit of a respite act after this from the board game. I think after this we're going to check out the other modes, or some of them. We're gonna check out one other mode and just do a little bit of that, and then... No wait, actually no, Desert Escape is actually a really long mode. Uh, I discovered it's got like... Like a good, what, like 10 15 rounds to it. Like 10, 10 15 variations with like different difficulties. So it's actually way more thorough than I would have expected it to be. Um, at this point, it'd probably be faster to go right. Um, so yeah, it'd probably take a good like 10, uh, 10 5 to 10 videos to actually just do the desert mode, desert island escape mode. So after this, I might take a break and just do some of that, just to, you know, break it up so it's not so repetitive. Um, we'll see. I haven't quite made up my mind. <laughs> this is expensive. My face and my wallet both hurt. I got the money icon appeared off screen because he was off screen at the time. I want to roll one here. The kid is actually catching up on the old nook. When I put out a piggy bank, okay, this was one we already saw. Yeah, I need to spruce up the town. So we, uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do actually. I'm gonna do desert island escape for like maybe even finish the whole mode, just do it all in a row. 
Um, not in one video, obviously, because it would take like a good two, three hours. But I think actually that would be a pretty good way to go about it. Uh, because we can unlock more happy ticket, more uh, tickets. And if we have more tickets, we can actually unlock more stuff in this mode. So it'd actually be advantageous to take a break from this mode for a little bit. Um, so we can get more tickets to basically spruce up this map. So it's not just the same map every time. Now, uh, low rolling. Um, actually, I'm a little behind where I want to be with Nook, uh, to be honest, because like Nook hasn't even had his first stamp, and we're already a fourth of the way through. I don't consider that a very good game. <laughs> and when I put out my old glove, I found a bell inside. Now I have a little pocket money. Wow, 400 bells in a glove? Monday, study prices. Yeah, we gotta have to pick up the pace of Nook if we wanna. Get all four checkpoints. <sighs> um, and desert mode is actually really fun. It's a lot more fun than I would have expected, I'd say. Um, hmm. That 170 is looking pretty nice over there. I think I'll get it just roll normally and hope the best. Oh shoot. Uh, I'll just take the hit here for happiness points just because it will be. It could, if we, if we can land on the turnip space that I want, then it's, it'll totally be worth it. See what's up ahead. 177 would be cool. Um, yawn, I'm yawning. Uh, that's, if it's that weird. Um, I don't think we got it. Yeah, we didn't. But I think we can get an next turn if the turnip prices don't crash, which they probably will. For once, I actually want to roll a 1. What else did I discover off screen? Uh, yeah, the island escape mode I will not discuss in great detail until we actually show it off, which will probably be next time. Ooh, today is, is Stitch's birthday. Hey, hey, just wondering if you know what day it is today. Today is my birthday, Stefan. You want to be a hap want to be happy like me? Come to a special event space. Um, this is something I ran into I think off screen, but not actually on a recording. So I really hope I can sh show this off. <laughs> I said I really hope I can show this off. Um, I'm gonna have to check the map. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. It'd actually be better to wait because I have a five card anyway. Oh yeah, I can show it off because I have a one card. Uh, that worked out pretty nicely, actually. Ta-da! So when you land on this cake spaces, you go to the town plaza and hang out with the character. Oh, Tom Nook, you came. I'm so glad, Stuffing. To say thanks to those who sell to, 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 to say thanks to those who celebrated. I'm giving away gifts. Tom Nook, happy points of bells. Which what will it be? Let me know. I think you get like three thousand bells. I don't know how many happy points you get. Uh, to be honest, I I'm kind of prioritizing bells more than happy points, but just to see what happens, I think I'm gonna go happy points. How many do we get? Five. Okay, so the 3,000 bells probably would be more worth it in the long run, because you can use it for um, turnips. And if you play the turnip market properly, you could completely own. And we sold them for like twice their value, by the way. <laughs> 89 to 177. Super about right? Yay, say. Wait, woo, ah, woo, yay, twice dice day here, the day when you roll two times the dice, music note, if you roll the same number on both dice, it's, oh yeah, I've also discovered this all apparently only applies to the amiibo characters, not the guest characters, just another way that the amiibo, uh, I mean that the uh, guest characters are kind of gimped, so, yeah, if you want to actually play with real people, I would highly recommend using an actual amiibo and not using guest characters, because it is pretty cheap, I do admit. I could be using amiibo, but I just kind of want to focus on leveling up Tom Nook right now. Um, plus tapping him on the game pad. <laughs> yeah, see, I got double dice for a bonus. It seems to only apply to, yeah, special characters, though. Just got some used wallpaper for free from a friend who was redecorating. It's rare, so I'm going to take good care of it. Sarah looks like she's going to fall into the river. <laughs> so next 
Saturday is the fishing tourney. After that, it looks like festival, which is basically the equivalent of like, I don't know, Mardi Gras. Maybe that's not a great comparison. I've got to have a move out card. I should wait the turn before I sold turnips. Well, oh well. I, yeah, totally forgot about that card. It's not making me sad, past me. He is technically in the lead though because he's. Wait a minute, why does he have so few happy points? He's only got 13, and Nook has only been to one checkpoint. So I don't get it. I'm gonna take the hit just because I'm, I wanna get closer to the, to, uh, the gyroid. Lots of green furniture, which would be actually be pretty solid for Feng Shui, depending on what kind of Feng Shui you wanted. Turn up value fluctuating. Arg stuffing. This turn up price is going up and, up and down. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, this would have been good to, to sell if I'd seen it coming. 285 would have been pretty sweet, actually. Because I have a 5 card, that's why I said 285. Looks like an igloo for this month. Ta -da 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 I don't know why I did that uh, when I landed for a snowman. That's also, yeah, obviously not something you can come across elsewhere. Also, you think Nook would be cold just wearing an apron, but then again, you could say that about KK too. <laughs> yeah, KK would be really cold, like wearing nothing. Shot a balloon, and there was a box of coins tied to it. What a nice gift from the sky. So KK is definitely gonna win. Ah, I mean, Tom Nook is definitely gonna win. Fish and tourney with old ship. Uh, also, I, this is actually something I should point out. Uh, they are replaced, the human characters are replaced with AI, not AI, but the background villagers. Under the circumstance that they, um, there's only two people. Because there still has to be an award ceremony, meaning a top four, and they're just supplemented with uh, AI characters. If you're wondering, that's how it works. It looks like a good 15 inch. Hey, I was close. Let's see, what do I want? I want a 4, but I'm probably not going to get a 4 because I said I wanted a 4, so I'm going to say I want a 3. <laughs> Maybe I should have said I wanted a 5. Maybe that reverse psychology actually would have worked. Who the heck is that in that stamp? I don't recognize that villager at all. <laughs> Ouch. Look, got kind of curb stomped. But I should also point out from what I have seen, the AI will always do worse than the uh, player characters, like the Inaka goldfish. <laughs> the AI seems to catch goldfish just to make it so like you can't lose to the AI, because that'd be stupid. Next up, second place, Tom Nook, 5.91 inches. That's actually pretty short. Um, like the chance of actually being able to win a fishing tourney with a 14.17 inch fish is really bad. Not too likely. I don't think I've ever seen it happen except like for like a black bass contest. <laughs> 2.76. Uh, yeah, they kind of intentionally have the AI do poorly. Happy points. Oh, yeah, uh, I don't know how, but yeah, Nook tends to do better than the AI, I've noticed. Wait, not the AI, the guest characters, because I am playing everyone. <laughs> We're already halfway through this board because it's February, you know, there's only 28 days. Which is actually really weird. Like, couldn't you have taken a day from, like, July and stuck it out to February? But there is actually a statistical reason, not statistical, there is actually a reason for the calendar, if I recall correctly, because if you think about it, two of the long months in summer, July and August, are both named after Caesars. So the Caesars apparently wanted long months. <laughs> because hey, if they're gonna have a month, they want to have a really butt kicking month, apparently. Last friends came, it was a success. Walker on drums. Walter. Is it Walter or Walker? I can't remember. 
<laughs> uh, that's how that's just how good my memory is. I have the card sitting right here. I should just glance at it. Walker. I don't know why I was thinking Walter. Actually, I know why I was thinking Walter. Um, it's an old Nintendo joke for me personally. Oh, festival! And turnips are crashing. That's not good actually, because we bought a lot of turnips that round. And 95 is actually really something. How many wants to just hold on and hope the prices go back up? <laughs> festival. Festival, I don't know how it's said. How many, I think it's actually supposed to be a guy, if I'm not mistaken? I'm not really sure. They call me something about in Japanese version of is supposed to be a guy, but they changed it or something. I don't really know. I know that's the case with Gracie and um, uh, Sarah, I think. Maybe just Gracie, I don't quite remember. Uh, I guess going down would be the best course of action for this guy. Yellow feather. A brilliant color. And yellow feather. Here we go. Hey, so happy. Such fun. Dance. Go crazy festival. What? Just... What's just... Oh. <laughs> That's what just happened. That was a little bit weird. Uh, I wonder if you get different scenes for different colors? I'm assuming a six would be good. Because rainbow is usually good. I got the one thing I don't want. Five. Yeah, I'm sure rainbow gives you like more bells. Green feather. I've never seen such a thing before. Except I have because I played New Leaf. It's like Tom Nook looks so like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's like, really? <laughs> Actually, no, Tom Nook doesn't look like he's amazed. He just looks bored. Now I'm curious about what all those colors do. Gasp, cough, pop is worn out from all the dancing. It's goodbye for today. Now I'm legitimately curious what these other spaces do. <laughs> the red feather, the rainbow feather, and so on. Ooh, yep, this why wait. Turn up value fluctuating. It's crazy, dude. Crazy talk. So. Scoping things out. Couple good spaces over here. But after that 238. There really isn't anything that appealing, so I'll probably sell them pretty soon. If I can land on one. I don't think I can rig it either because I don't have enough stuff. I don't have enough I don't have enough cards to rig it. I took a job to create an original shirt sign for this town. It's worth the effort because I'm getting paid. Making shirts in Animal Crossing really is difficult actually. Uh, in my opinion it is. Because it always takes me like forever to actually design a shirt in Animal Crossing. It's very precise and also it's essentially a pixel editor, so it's pretty difficult. Let's see, so this time comes out to be 28,560 bells, so we're up to 30,000 with Nook. That's not bad. That's actually really good. Um, Making up for the really bad first turns of Nook, where he's just rolling ones and twos. Um, Desert Island Escape. Yeah, I think that'll be next video. I just feel like it's time. 34. <laughs> that would be horrible. I'm actually just legitimately curious. Oh yeah, and the Nookling Amiibo was just announced today. Those videos going up on Tuesday, I think. I'm just curious how much this would, I'd actually get for this. I would get 2,700 bells. Not worth it. Um, five, uh, six. <laughs> that was a five for a moment. Not sure how, but I did. Comboed. I'm surprised Wendell isn't a more important character. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit surprising. Fortune teller, associate those among you who search for happiness. Take charge of your destiny. By at least come think with the fortunes are free in this game, because in the old game, in the other games, you have to pay for it, and thus you're essentially paying for like a slap face half the time. <laughs> 
Let's see, I think some of the games, Katrina uses tarot cards, others she uses a crystal ball, I think. Uh, I don't remember specifically. She kind of goes through different phases of magic, fortune reading, not magic, fortune telling. Waha, Katrina! Fortunes will soon improve, at least that's my reading of the Magician card. One week this. Now, ooh! Better roll one, dude! Hope Nook doesn't roll a one. For him, for his sake, he sh shouldn't roll one. That's what I should have specified. Um, turns out I could have probably sold my turn to a higher price, but hey, whatever. One more to go. Nook is still technically behind, because the other villager only has one more thing to go. And only, actually only one more week, so I guess it works out that the game is moving along relatively speedily. Hey, it works for him. Bring on the wealth. Except actually, I'm not sure if he'll be able to sell off his turnips in time. That could be really bad, actually, because he could lose a ton of money if he doesn't sell those things off soon. Better hope for two next turn. Uh, three. How many... Ooh, that's not good. Ouch. <laughs> well, you are just wearing an apron, so... Yeah, I can't exactly blame Sahara for being a little critical. Dr. Shunk is in the house. Special stick, not interested, don't say that. Because sometimes he cries and other times he just freaks out. Like he, he just is like waking out. Uh, has just not the same animation every time. Four. Yes, okay. We are at least able to sell off our stuff. That's that's good enough for me. That's like double its value too, so. He's still kinda behind because Nook has been having good luck with the rolls. He's been landing on a lot of good spaces. Hasn't lost too much money, mostly happiness. Money can't buy you love or happiness, but okay. <laughs> uh, uh, I think Brewster's getting an amiibo too, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Cause it's like, oh, Brewster serving coffee to himself. <laughs> Final stretch, no holidays, so it's just a mad dash to the finish. Gonna go all the turnips and fingers crossed that it works out well. I have a system also, but uh, for desert, I've devised a system actually for the desert island mode, but I'm not sure if this actually could be a good idea or not. <laughs> um, it could backfire because I'm, I, you know, certain characters in the desert island have certain characters have different specials. So um, yeah, that's kind of gonna be a problem, huh? It's super fun twice to taste. Twice I stay. That's actually hard to say. Twice I stay. Um, no turn up sales today because it is Sunday and Animal Crossing, I should have pointed this out sooner. In Animal Crossing, you actually can't buy, you can't actually sell turnips on Sat on Sunday. You can only buy them on Sunday. Yeah, I probably should have mentioned that sooner, but oh well. Doubles. Yeah, there's the little, the little slight point bump from uh, the just using an amiibo is actually super helpful. It's way more helpful than you'd expect. I'm probably like for the final round, like for that would be October, I guess. For yeah, for October, I think I might actually devise a system where you use all amiibo and see if it's a little more evenly matched, or maybe even next time. Say I'm taking a break. Opposite day, that really sucks because. Uh, Nook is almost to the uh, goal, and he, the village is almost, wow, the village is only a couple spaces away. That really sucks for him. This is going back six. But at least he got good luck with that part, at least. And he caught a tuna. Tuna are generally caught in winter, if you're not familiar with the series. Uh, I want to see what the base price was. The base price was 96. So I'd get 29,000 for that. I'm gonna hold off and keep my preferable fingers crossed. That was a good roll for Nook because he only went back one. Wait, what? What just happened? 
Did he lose money? Oh, because I rolled a one, I took money from him? Is that how it worked? Oh, wow. I better hope this is a good turnip set. I'm gonna sell some. For obvious reasons, just to get out of the, the, the out of debt. I just sold 20 just to basically get as far out, just enough to get out of debt. That sucks. So, uh, I'm just gonna be stuck with these turnips then. <laughs> and tomorrow it's probably gonna crash, knowing my luck. Now watch me roll a 3. Okay, so if he rolls a 1, he gets money. If Nook rolls a 1, he loses money. Okay, that's how it works. Tom, so if I roll a 2, I'll be kind of upset. <laughs> okay, so, so far I have not rolled when I say, oh. So I haven't been super screwed out of stock money yet, at least. Oh, all that karaoke equipment is paying off, I see. But basically what I'm trying to say is like a lot of times when I say boy wouldn't it suck to land that space when the stock's closed. So if I haven't actually done like landed on the space I said it would suck to not to land on. <laughs> um, that's mildly lucky I, I suppose. I'm gonna sell 50 just to get a decent amount of money back. Terror card has worn off. Good for him because it was kind of causing problems for him. Oh, this is actually kind of a tricky situation because it's like, for the, from the standpoint of stocks, because it's like, um, what am I landing on? Is that 138? Because there really aren't that many good spaces up ahead, unfortunately. So like, should I just sell off now? Just make a, mar a mild profit? Because that 170 is like my last shot selling. So I'm going to just be on the safe side and unload a hundred of them, so I can recoup some of the profits. I like how you don't have to sell all of them either. So if you want to potentially hold off, you can. You don't lock you into anything. Um, I'm still uploading actually part 3, which is still loading onto YouTube. It says it'll take like, uh, 4 hours. <laughs> That's not that good. 4 hours, but hey. YouTube. I hear YouTube has been having a hard time lately processing because YouTube Red is just was just launched not too like two weeks ago, and I hear things have been really choppy ever since on YouTube. Um, I haven't been affected by YouTube Red too much just because I'm not a big a big channel. I'm not a mid-sized channel. Like I'm so small of a channel that basically I don't know how to put it. Basically, my channel's so small that the drop in revenue is almost not noticeable since I'm only making pocket change off this anyway. <laughs> um, like, mid level channels are actually feeling it the most from what I hear because, you know, they're actually in a position where they are actually being hurt a lot by this. See, this is why I didn't sell because that 148. Hello, Tom here, Tom Nook. It's certainly nice to see you again. Da 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 da. If I got like a three card, that'd be nice. That'd be really nice. Um, five. So I'm guessing low, just because, frankly, uh, one to four odds. Aha! There we go. Got it. You win, Tom Nook. Use your card as promised. Hmm. One, two, three, four. No, that wouldn't help me. So I was hoping for a 3 card, but oh well. Same as last time. No, actually, I'm gonna go just... Wait a minute. I think I'm gonna do all. No chances here. Really hope I can get to that goal. But I have a card, so that'll help. Roll the dice. And got 3. Ouch. Combo. <laughs> Best material. Um, none of Shark's best material is actually that good. Story of Animal Crossing. Yeah, he isn't exactly a funny character, but he's kind of funny because of how not funny he is. If that makes any sense? It's like, Shark is so pathetically unfunny that it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> it sounds really bad, actually. Um, oh yeah, Rosie's birthday is 227. 
And the other kid didn't celebrate, he just went to see Dr. Shunk, which is a huge diss to Rosie. Make it the happiest day. Um, that kid better hope for good luck on his last turn, otherwise he might be completely screwed when it comes to turnips. Because I think he still has some. I need to roll a 3 or a, a 3, 5, or 6. So I have 1 and 3 shot. Aha! Uh, that wasn't the best, but um, I can't complain. 283 is not bad at all. Yeah. Yep, that could actually put him back in the lead, even. If I roll just- if I roll a 1, the boy wins. But I think this might give Nook enough of a lead. It's gonna be really close either way. Cause 486 and then 71. I should actually double check if it's rounded up or down. If it's just flat 71 or if it's rounded 72. Um, it's apparently not rounded. Ooh, actually that wasn't as close as I thought it'd be. Oh well. See, that only took like half an hour. A little over half an hour. That was much more convenient. Oops, sorry Nook. <laughs> that was me knocking over Tom Nook, if you were wondering. I'll probably level him off, off screen once more. Since we're so close to a level with Tom. Uh, and also the animation is short too, so I might try it with 3 just to break it up next time. But yeah, I think we're gonna do Desert Island Escape, or whatever it's called. So try to unlock more stuff for the map. And we're back to the station. Um, how many happy tickets do we have? Um, 3. So we can even unlock new mode if we wanted to. No, actually, no. Wrong menu. <laughs> we are going to actually unlock something right this moment. And, uh, you know, obviously a lot of people like to do the thing where it's like, Oh, hey, what do you want in the game? But to be honest, I don't think I have enough of a following to do that at the moment. Like, if I ever play a real Animal Crossing, like a main series, I'd probably do some more stuff like that. But for now, I'm just going to... Make decisions as I see fit. Statue fountain. Actually, that looks cool, but it doesn't fit the town at all. Um, let's see. Lighthouse. Windmill. Go. Let's do it. Let's build a windmill. Um, good place for a windmill would probably be... Not... Wait a minute. None of these places would be good for a windmill, actually. Though, I think it'd look good here. In the corner. So I don't think that will unlock anything because frankly, there are no paths anywhere near there. So I think that's just probably going to be decorative. But that's enough for now. So we are going to take a break from the board game and try Desert Island Escape next time on Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Thank you for watching.